Alright, hello everybody and welcome to Survivor Series 2016 review. This show was, oh my god, it was, mm, it was something else. It's 10.30 by the way, it's not 11 o'clock, and the show's over already. It ended a half an hour early, and it started an hour, er, it started an hour early and ended a half an hour early. What the fuck's the point of that? Anyway, there was two... They announced, I guess they didn't really announce, they just kind of had two pre-show matches. Uh, those were Luke Harper versus Kane, which apparently Kane won. And Perkins, Dar, and Swan versus Nice, Gallic, and Davari, which the team of Perkins, Dar, and Swan won. Uh, I, I, I don't know, I was at work. I did watch the beginning of the first match, which was the women's tag elimination. Uh, I didn't get to see who got eliminated in what order. I did. I did il uh, write the eliminations in order for the other matches, but these first two matches I didn't get to see uh, much. Uh, but I guess Bailey hit the Bailey to Belly on Becky. Uh, Becky Lynch for the win. Charlotte and Bailey were the final two who stood tall. Uh, so that's that's kind of what I had going. I th I'm pretty sure that's. Who I had uh, predicted. I, I can't remember, to be completely honest. Uh, Miz kept the Intercontinental Championship over Sami Zayn. And I couldn't find... Uh, I just, I'm just going off a WWE Twitter account. Uh, it didn't look like Dolph interfered. So I have written down no interference from Dolph. But I could be very wrong. The next match was the tag team elimination match. Uh, as soon as the match starts, Brizongo got eliminated. And then as soon as Brizongo got eliminated, Jimmy Uso comes in, super kicks Kofi Kingston right in the face. One, two, three, and New Day is eliminated. Uh, then later on in the match, Magic Killer to Zack Ryder, and the Hype Bros are gone. Uh, I forget how the Shining Stars got eliminated, but they got eliminated right after that. Uh, Magic Killer to Jason Jordan, American Alpha is gone. So right there, my predictions were fucked up. And after this match pretty much ruined my predictions. Uh, this match and everything after this ruined my predictions. Um, Magic Killer to Jason Jordan, American Alpha is gone. Gore to Gallows, the club is gone. Air Enzo to Rhino, he Slater and Rhino are gone. Uh, Jimmy, oh, Jimmy or Jay, I don't remember which one, hit a splash on Enzo. Enzo and Cass are gone, and it comes down to the Usos and Cesaro and Sheamus. Uh, Cesaro hit another 619. I love when he does that. It's probably the greatest thing. Uh, Cesaro has Sheamus, Cesaro has, uh, Jimmy in a, uh, in the sharpshooter. Jay tries to super kick Cesaro. Sheamus hits J Jay with a bro kick, and Cesaro makes Jimmy tap. Team Raw wins. So right there, Team Raw is up two to. I guess if we count every single match as a point, they're up two to one. But if we're only counting the elimination matches, they're up two nothing. Uh, so what's the point of going on? You know, and then it all kind of goes downhill from here. Uh, Brian Kendrick versus Kalisto. The match ends with Br Baron Corbin coming out, attacking Brian Kendrick, and then hitting the end of days on Kalisto, and Brian Kendrick wins by uh, DQ for obviously getting attacked by Baron Corbin. And then later, and then backstage, Baron Corbin says he doesn't want SmackDown Live being uh, crowded by little punks, so he didn't want, and he doesn't want Kalisto to be a champion. Uh, the men's elimination match, which was like an hour and a half long. Oh my god, his match started at... Actually, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was an hour and a half long because it's 10.30 and the show's over now. And the match started at 9. We'll get to that in a second. I'll explain why it's an hour and a half long and it's only 10.30. And the match started at 9 because mm, that last match, Brock was... Mm, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, so, during the match, uh, nobody's standing in the ring besides Dean and AJ. And so, they, they just start, they just decide to fight each other. Braun Strowman comes in, he slams Dean, 
and then pins him, and AJ just stands there and watches. Bray comes in and stares down Braun, and Braun, uh, and then Jericho comes in, and he's like, don't listen to him, don't do it, please don't do it, we need you, I'm the captain, and Braun goes to choke slam uh, Jericho, but then he grabs Bray by the, uh, uh, he grab he grabs Bray, I don't know what just happened, he grabs Bray by the, ch uh, throat, and he slams Bray down, and, uh, they get him out of the ring and RKO to Braun on a table. And they clear off another table. Bray and Randy hold uh, Braun onto the table. And Shane jumps off the table and hits an elbow, driving Braun through said table. Uh, as Braun's trying to get back into the ring, at 9, a hand holds Bray Braun's foot. From under the ring. And he can't make the 10 count. Braun then pulls his leg out. And James Ellsworth comes flying out from under the ring. Uh, Ellsworth is then chased up the ramp. And gets thrown off the ramp through a table. Uh, during a little on later. Uh, Owens hits AJ with the list. And the list explodes. And Owens gets eliminated by DQ. Because that's technically a weapon uh Jericho then comes in and he's upset he picks up all the pieces of the list he stares at uh Owens asking like why the hell did you just you ruined the list like it's destroyed there's nothing and he turns around into an RKO and Y2 gone and it's down to Roman Reigns Seth Rollins Versus AJ Styles, Shane McMahon, Bray Wyatt, and Randy Orton. This was the these next four, one, two, three, four, yeah, these next four lines are the best part of the of the match. Shane goes coast to coast into a spear. I'm pretty sure we watch Shane die. Like it was nasty. And I don't, he kicked out at two, but he got eliminated anyway, because I'm pretty sure he didn't kick out at two, he just kind of twitched at two, uh, but they, they, they are like, no, you're not competing anymore, get, get out of here. He definitely has a concussion, uh, pa he, yeah, he, he, he's hurt, he's definitely hurt, it's something bad. He, he got fucked, and I really hope he's okay. He's my second favorite wrestler, but oh my god, Shane, like, as soon as, he went to go do coast to coast to Roman, and then Roman hit him with a spear, it, it was nasty, amazing, oh my god, I'm pretty sure Shane's dead, uh, Seth and Roman tried to powerbomb Randy Orton through a table. AJ broke that up. But then Dean comes back out and starts attacking AJ. And, the sec and security come out and they start to escort Dean. And then Rollins and Reigns start to attack the uh, security. And uh, they're, they're, they're like, fuck it. Uh, Seth and Dean pick up AJ. And uh, Rowan, Roman powerbombs AJ through the table. And uh, one, two, three... AJ Styles is gone. And it's down to uh, Bray and Randy and Seth and Roman. And then uh, Seth and Roman are standing in the ring while Randy and Bray are on the outside. And then Luke Harper just kind of pops out from under the ring and distracts them. Bray and Randy come in and attack Rollins. Harper super kicks Roman. Seth goes for a splash on Bray Wyatt, but as he's coming down to hit that splash, RKO, one, two, three, Seth is out of here. Roman Reigns is down to the last one for Team Raw. If he gets eliminated, Team SmackDown wins. Roman hits a Superman punch. He's about to eliminate Bray Wyatt. He wants to hit a spear. He's doing that scream thing and he does in the corner 
He's charging up. He starts running. Randy Orton comes back in, pushes Bray out of the way. He takes the spear. R Bray Wyatt comes back. Sister Abigail on to Roman. One, two, three. SmackDown wins. Finally. SmackDown only won two matches. They won the Intercontinental Championship match, and they won this match. This match, granted, was an hour and a fucking half. But, they won. And now, the main event, Fantasy Warfare, comes to life. Or whatever the hell they were saying. I didn't, I almost missed this match. This match, Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, the entrances were longer than the fucking match. Let's start off there. Um, I'm glad I wasn't interested in this match. I'm glad I hate fucking Brock Lesnar. Uh, I'm glad G Goldberg won. He hit two spears and a jackhammer, and uh, Brock Lesnar did the job. Yeah, you heard me correctly. The uh, the guy who uh, broke uh, the streak, the guy who's uh, the beast incarnate. Yeah, he did the fucking job to Goldberg. Yeah, he did that. He did it. Yep, Shinsuke. I I, I predicted this Shinsuke. I I clearly I said if you have anybody besides Brock Lesnar winning this match. You're stupid. I guess I'm stupid because I had Brock Lesnar winning this match. But whatever. I guess I'm wrong. Uh, and I guess WWE doesn't give a shit because they didn't give a shit. And they're like, hey, fuck you. Remember how we hyped this match up for the last month and a half? Well, uh, fuck you. We're just gonna we're gonna make the match end in three minutes, even though we got a half a fucking hour left to uh left to air it. We're not even gonna do that. I don't. We're not even gonna do that. We're just gonna we're gonna send you guys home early. There's gonna there's gonna be a lot of traffic. Yeah, just shut up. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, fuck Brock Lesnar. <laughs> fuck Goldberg. <laughs> Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Camp Council Cody. Tomorrow we got Raw. Tuesday we got SmackDown. My name's Camp Council Cody, and I'll see you guys next time. Toodles. <laughs>